I wanted to talk a little bit about why you decided to start this podcast, um, which is called What on Earth? And I love the name. And I love Thank the names you. of your episodes because they all have some sort of wordplay going on, which is very cool. So <laughs> tell me why a podcast and uh, what made you start it really? uh firstly thank you so much for like noticing those puns and like i i, <laughs> I feel like I, I i put i try like a lot i think a lot about it and sometimes i feel like nobody even notices but that's okay you know it's like like one person notices yeah <laughs> it it is it is time well spent uh so what uh, got me interested in the podcast now uh i sort of uh, since like 2018 when i really got into the environmental movement i have been continuously meeting and interacting with and learning about and talking to just fascinating people like mind blowing people who have done like to me i mean they should be celebrities the kind of work they've done they should be like we should have you know uh, like massive media followings on them because they've done such wonderful work uh you know and uh, to me i just i just kept seeing them and i uh, and it was when I would look at the work they do, I'd be like, wow, why, why do I not know this already? You know, it's, it's first of all, so relevant to what I like. And even if I didn't give a shit about it, uh, it's so like just fundamentally beautiful that people should know about this. Uh, and, uh, you know, so on, on one level, it's just to view a person's work by itself uh, and to view it by its merits, you know, regardless of what field they're doing it in. Uh, and then to find out that they're doing it in a field or, that you love uh, and that those people are usually so approachable. So these these are like basically superstars in my field and I, I could just basically call them and have a conversation with them. So I thought that these people are like gems and they need to be talked about more uh, because their story, uh, it, it shows us like what it takes to even be successful. And, and I define success in a completely non-capitalist way here. Uh, it's like that's it's not about having you know cars or bungalows or a big bank balance it's about actually impacting people's life that for me is is what success is so I saw these incredibly successful people who are so approachable and who whose stories are so inspiring because uh, they've often overcome such adversity uh, you know like the environment and climate change is now sort of a, a deal but like 30 years ago nobody really cared about it you know there were like these brief pockets of of uh, interest and to me that's so beautiful because these guys had like the vision to see that hey we're doing something really bad right now it's going to lead to really messed up things in the future uh you know so th th i met these people i spoke to them i learned about them and i'm like you know what these people their stories need to come out you know and uh, in any way that i can further the conversation increase the discourse on their lives i want to do that so what or not started with uh, basically two ideas one to show the world that listen we're doing something that is very unearth that is very against the very fundamental nature of uh, the planet you know we are treating it in a way that is completely unsustainable and we're doing ourselves a massive disservice because we are as much part of the earth as like you know trees or the rivers we are like the ecosystem you know so uh, so one idea was to, sh to show the world or to talk about these problems but uh, more much more important than uh, talking about problems was talking about stories of hope and inspiration and uh, you know just great work being done because uh, as someone who uh, was getting into environment and didn't see like clear figures or leaders or, or role models you know that i could look up to like 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 a like a movie star or like a you know sports star or something that we don't have that in in the environment field or so i thought and uh, yeah yeah so then i figured you know what this is something that people have to talk about i want to learn from them as well and um, and this is like a secret that i haven't told anyone but I figured like, you know, <laughs> simply calling them up and being like, hey, you want to chat for half an hour, have some questions would be damn weird. So I, I like make it into, hey, you want to have a podcast? <laughs> and <laughs> and basically that's it's just me chatting with them for like half an hour, 40 minutes, trying to figure out, uh, trying to learn, trying to tell their story. And um, I've been so lucky because such wonderful people who have so accomplished have come to my show, have, have spoken to me. Uh, 
uh, and I have some like increasingly like uh, more well-known celebrities uh, lined up. So uh, you know, I get. I mean, it's yeah, it's fascinating. It's 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 been such an incredible response, both from the audience uh, and from my guests, because they've all been so willing. And uh, you know, like for for me, uh, a celebrity being so just open to talk and to share their ideas is is unheard of. You know, I mean, I don't think I can go to like Shahrukh Khan and be like, bro, can you can you tell me like how to act a little bit? <laughs> <laughs>